Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. So, in this video... Oh boy. I'm not holding it, man. This thing's too heavy, man. Oh, Alright, so here we have a first generation iPad. And, you can see that this iPad is running iOS 5.1.1. Jailbroken 2, if you guys want to watch how to jailbreak it. They're building the iCard right there. And, in this video, we're gonna download this baby back to this original operating system, which is iPhone OS 3.2. It's a different iPhone OS 3 version than the iPod Touch on the iPhone because this thing is a special device back in the day the Apple have Apple have to create a brand new version of iOS how are we gonna do this ladies and gentlemen well we're gonna need a computer all right I'm gonna show you guys here on the Mac but you guys can do it on Windows and Mac and this downgrade is gonna be a tighter downgrade meaning if you turn off your iPad or the battery is dead you turn it back on it will come up with the recovery mode logo Alright guys, here we are booted on macOS 10.5, yes, 10.5.8 on my 2008 MacBook Pro. Now, you can do this on Windows, uh, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, and macOS that's compatible with iTunes 11 or iTunes 10. Alright, 10.6.3 it is. Alright, so since this MacBook is too old to browse the internet, I have this phone here to show you guys. The tools that we're going to use to do the downgrade here. This is the Google Drive link that we'll link in the description down below. It is created by JWMMIR54. So big thank you JWMMIR54 for creating all of these toolkits. So it will be an easy way to get the tools and the firmware. So this tool is including the IPSW here. So you can see there we got the REST no to boot. We got the 3.2.2 restore file, which is actually this one here actually. The IDEX create IPSW. And we get iRap and iTunes 10.6.3. Alright guys, now here's the link that you gotta use to download iRap and Red Snow for your Windows computer. Alright, again, if you have a Mac, the uh, downgrade kit already have you guys covered. But if you guys are running on Windows, you can go to the link in the description down below. There's a link, let's just make a link that uh, the legacy archive for the r slash link jailbreak created for us. Alright, so big thanks to them. So, we're gonna get iRap first here. We're gonna go to here utilities and then just scroll down here until you see iRap by iHake Snow. You click on it, double click it, click on Windows and then download the latest one which is R7. You gotta go and right click and click standard download here. Alright now for the red snow we're gonna go to here, chill breaks, scroll down until we find red snow and there we go, red snow. Right click, go to Windows and find 0.96b4. Where is it? There you go, 0.96b4. Again, right click, download standard zip. Here is the extracted folder here that I have on my Leopard uh, partition here. What we're gonna do is find our 30 bit cable here and plug in your iPad right here, like so. Now we're gonna open up and open up terminal here. Let's open up terminal here. So we're gonna type in CD space and then we're gonna drag this downgrade files folder to the terminal folder, just like that. Enter and now we're inside that. Now we're gonna type in dot slash I R E B. Alright, hit enter, and now you can see there it I wrap is now waiting for DFU mode. So what you're gonna do here is press the power button and the home button to get that for 10 seconds and then let go the power button and keep holding the home button for another 10 seconds. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go the power button and keep holding the home button here until uh, I wrap recognize that there is a DFU mode. Oop, don't run the focus iPhone. There we go. Now, of running iWrap on Windows. So right here, you're gonna click on the iPad. This is the only iPad that supports it. the first generation iPad. And then just follow the on-screen instruction. We're gonna open up Mr. iTunes here. iTunes 10.6.3. Make sure you recognize at iTunes. There we go, detected on recovery mode. Now, I wanna hit on option and restore on the Mac. But on Windows here, you hit on shift and restore. And then find that iPad first generation folder here, which is more under the desktop. We're gonna go to downgrade files and then we're gonna click on the one that says here that says i dex grade because there is two different versions here right so we're gonna click on the i dex grade one hit open and it is now extracting the software it's starting to light up here we go the lines are starting waiting for ipad as you can see they're not so successful but at here we're still stuck at the ios 5 uh, recovery logo here so let's go ahead and fix that all right, we're gonna go back to the 
downgrade kit here and then click on boot there's a red snow here hit on browse go to your downgrade kit here hit boot and this is the normal ipsw 3.2.2 no itex grade this is straight from apple ipsw this is the one that we need to boot the ipad here right so we hit open now we hit on next so we're gonna just boot set it right now hit next and i'm gonna put the ipad back in the fu mode here by pressing power and home for 10 seconds here so one two and ten let go of the power button and keep holding the home button here so we'll hit on next okay there we go waiting for ipad here you can see there the ipad we got the red snow logo look at that it's been so long i haven't seen that logo on this big screen man the red snow app crash you can see here okay rebooting done oh there we go we got the loading app logo so yeah that's the problem is the red snow app is crashing and there we go we have the setup screen of iphone os 3.0 so what we're gonna do here is of course set the ipad up we're gonna open up itunes here we're gonna hit on the ipad here as you can see okay so it looks like we're stuck is this because why i think that's the issue here is that the issue this one the radio works okay so seems to be itunes 10.6 can activate the ipad so i have a theory okay so i'm back to my main operating system here which is mojave let's see here if this version of itunes work again because we're just activating the device here not doing anything right okay so this shows up here okay let's see if this one works because it doesn't it cannot able to access the itunes store on the other one i can't activate it oh there we go it just worked come come you know some unplugging and unplugging it it works look at that here we are iphone os 3.2 let's touch unlock it oh yes man look at that amazing 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 slide to unlock in fact it's already a bit different here so we're gonna go ahead and go to settings it's already different look at that uh buttons and everything about you can see there version 3.2 we are back at the original operating system of this ipad look at that 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 instant home button i mean take a look for example here on ios ios 15 right there's like a delay look at that there's like a delay right when you press the home button there's a delay meanwhile on ios 3 look at this i press the home button bam immediately go to notes home immediately it immediately responds so we're gonna try to jailbreak this ipad i booted back to leopard here because we're gonna try to use red snow again because um old ios without jailbreak is you know you can't do anything too much all right we're gonna go to the downgrade kit once again we're gonna go to the boot Red snow. I'm gonna browse that IPSW once again. 3.2.2. Hit on next, and then I'm gonna click on install Cydia here. Hit next, and I'm gonna boot this thing back to DFE mode here. Right, so pressing power and home. Nine, ten. Let go of the power button and keep holding the home button here. And all right, let's see here. Will this works? Okay, we got we got the oh look at that. We got the how do you call the old red snow downloading jailbreak data oh this is bringing so many memories and look at that oh the four boost boot man look at that red snow logo os 10.6 and the 2008 macbook pro eh? this is a nice nice sight to see eh? all right so it finished doing this thing so maybe gonna stop back to here again all right so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go back to the red snow like you so because like i said this is what you're gonna do when your ipad run out of battery or you turn off right you go to the boot folder select your 3.2.2 apsw here all right hit next and now we'll hit and then hit just boot head right now next next again and then go to dfu mode so if an error like this and your device stuck hit like this on this black screen just continue holding the power and home button you'll see the apple logo here it will come back to the recovery mode of ios 5. yep and i'm plugging the ipad and then just redo them again there we go cities pop up right there oh yeah so cydia essentially have an error in ios an iphone os 3.0 where it cannot load anything here's the way to fix it right here we're gonna click on complete upgrade and we're gonna update all these things here confirm and this thing will also take a while to load all right it finally started our download stuff Okay, so once you update your Cydia, it will come up like this, unable to load, and basically uh, anything doesn't really load that well. So we're gonna close here, and then we're gonna resource this. Go ahead and edit, add, and I'm gonna add this repo right here, right? Source, 
Now I will uh, do this again here, network load, uh, not able to load. You're just gonna wait for it to show that the little reloading data thingy to come up and then you know that the uh, repo is actually installed, all right? Okay, so uh, I hit cancel here because it doesn't load and meanwhile, you know, the repo is actually finished loading some of the things here. So we need to go here, let's go to here, another repo, all section here, all section, all packages, I mean, and go to this repo here, or this tweak here and that is called Cydia HTTP patch, all right? Once you open it, it will just gonna come up in blank. We're gonna click on install here, and then we're gonna hit on confirm, all right? It won't really load a lot of stuff here. So your pinpoint there, you can see there, the little spinning guy at the uh, right corner right there. You gotta wait for it to finish loading. As you can see right there, it is spinning to reloading data, loading, and now, it says they're closed, so you gotta tap on the close button and that should respring your device, all right? And now, you guys can go ahead and enjoy your iPhone OS 3.2 software back on your original iPad here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.